Youth runner here with the uh, Lions from Jay Sarah, second place in the Bill Buechner Girls Championship race at the uh, 45th Asics Clovis Invitational. So glad to see this group whole uh, and, and thriving. Obviously didn't have uh, the blessing of, uh, of seeing uh, this incredible lineup uh, together at, at Woodbridge or Bob Furman, but obviously uh, everything uh, really took off after uh, their victory at Clovis uh, last year. Obviously another high quality performance this year, and uh, we know it's uh, trending in the right direction as they go toward Orange County Championships and getting ready for the postseason. Going to come over here to Hutton Elgin. Uh, obviously, you didn't have the blessing of being at Woodward Park uh, uh, last year, and so uh, uh, just what uh, what did it mean to you to be in the, uh, in, in that environment and just kind of you know uh, getting yourself excited for uh, the upcoming opportunities? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I was actually so excited because like I'd seen videos of it since I was like in middle school, and like obviously like our team is like been working like really hard for this, so I was like really excited, and then. Um, yeah, it was just it was just like a really fun experience to get ready for um, for state, and yeah, in, a lot of fun. Yeah. In terms of just like I said, like the, the group being whole, right? Like just being you know not even from the racing aspect of it, but just you know just having the energy and the support of uh, of, of the entire group. Like uh, how uh, how important Hutton did you feel like that was for you and for the team? Just to kind of you know have, uh, have have everybody there and really uplifting one another. Yeah, I feel like it like really helped because it's nice that cross country is a team sport because we all like lift each other up and if like someone doesn't have the best day, like everyone's always there to like comfort you and like when you succeed, like other people are there to like share your success. So it definitely like I feel like we all help each other and like um, like make each other better and we want to work hard for each other in the races. So yeah, it's fantastic it. work. Thank you, Reese Holly. Uh, obviously, well, we got a a, a little metaphorical bite of the apple at the Trinity League preview yeah. but obviously I, you know this is this is so meaningful and obviously it contributes to five women in the uh, in the top 40 all seven in, in, in the top 60 uh, I'll ask you what I just asked Hutton like just how, how significant is it to now everybody starting uh, to see this this whole group together and not yeah. kind of uh, you know in 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 components or in in segments at Woodbridge and Bob Furman yeah it's just so great I mean you know we train together really hard every day so Finally, like, coming together at Clovis and racing, it was just so much fun. And, um, you know, we had, like, a solid, like, amazing group of girls at Woodbridge and Bob Furman, too. And it's just nice to finally have, like, everyone here. And it's just, like, so great. And I love training with these girls and racing with them. To have the training be able to, uh, to carry over to the race, right? Like, just to be able to, you know, like when Coach Chase Fraser talks about, hey, this is where we need to be at the mile, two, you know, two mile, uh, you know, at the, you know, White, uh, white toll booth or, you know, and when we get on the asphalt and, and on the grass, like the fact that that is, you know, actual reality, like it's, yeah. it, you know, before it was just, you know, like talking about it in hypotheticals, like just to have the whole group there and the whole group operating together, like how significant is that not only for October 12th uh, at Woodward Park, but obviously carrying into OC Champs and beyond. Yeah, it's honestly just like a surreal experience and Chase does such a great job of preparing us for each race, each course. And I think like we all mentally knew like what we needed to do. We had goals for Clovis and especially like after like we know going into OC Champs, like we have big goals for that too. So we're just excited for the rest of the season and the races. Awesome. Well done. Chloe Elbaz, uh, obviously last year, you know, you and Sophie had uh, had to wait to, uh, to finally uh, be part of this group at, uh, you know, at, at Woodward Park. Obviously, uh, this year it wasn't by anybody's design, but it just kind of uh, worked out that way that we finally saw the full version of the group once again uh, at Woodward Park. Just, you know, again, not even in the race itself, but just like the whole the whole group, you know, getting ready on pre-meet on Friday and Saturday, just uh, the camaraderie and whatnot. Like, how much different is it when everybody's around? Because obviously, you know, Woodbridge and Bob Furman were probably not what we would lay out as a plus letter perfect, uh, but obviously it, it just seemed like this was kind of like therapeutic for, for you and the group. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, um, going into the race, like Reese said, we definitely knew what we had to accomplish, and uh, I think it gave our group a lot of confidence knowing what we can do at that course, coming from like Bob Furman, where we didn't have the best uh, result, or I mean, yeah, so it was just really reassuring to know that we are up there and that we can do what we know we can do and we train hard for it every single day together and I feel like we were really prepared for it and it showed. The value of just 
picking one another up. Uh, like I'm always completely transparent with you ladies. Like I was talking with the Buchanan girls and obviously it hadn't gone exactly the way they had envisioned it, you know, at the start of the year, but just like to be able to have people there to pick you up. Like if, if, if you have, uh, if you have a great race, then you hope everyone has a great race. If someone has a humbling race, uh, you know, that, uh, everybody else is, is there to rally around them and, and pick them up. Like, uh, how, how impactful is that, especially going into another really significant opportunity at OC Champs that the group really rallied around one another and really picked each other up at Clovis? Speaking of it, like on the course, um, I know from my experience when I see anyone on the course, like when I saw Kaya, it's just like super reassuring because you're like, okay, I trained with them in practice, like we can get through it together. Um, so just seeing your teammate on the course, it's super reassuring and, you know, we can do, we can do it together. And then... Um, yeah, going into OC Champs, we've been training for it. We know this is going to be a fast three-mile course, so I think we all have the confidence going in that we can stick together as long as we can. And then, like Chase said, it's going to be like a dog fight for the last <laughs> mile. So, yeah. You ladies wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, <laughs> great work, Chloe. Thank you. Kaya Shredbeck can now say that she has the, the, the Woodward, Woodward Park experience in, in her back pocket and obviously uh, not only setting her eyes to being part of the group on November 30th for the state meet, but obviously all the steps uh, along the way. Uh, how did the reality of how you thought that course would challenge you, how did, how, did, how did it match up to, you know, what Coach Chase had told you, your teammates had told you, and then what the actual experience was? Yeah, from what I've heard from other people, it seemed pretty similar to what I was expecting. And then also running with my teammates really helped a lot, like make me not feel as nervous going into it. And then running, it just helped me feel like I can do this because I've trained with these girls this whole time and I see like my teammates with me. So. You have shown so much poise and composure, you know, being asked to do really big things very early on in your career. I've had the blessing of seeing it with so many of your uh, in incredible teammates who have, you know, who have not only come up through this program, but just you know, even through your youth cross country and youth track uh, as well. Having been in a, a lot of big races uh, already now, and we're not even you know at OC Champs yet. Like, is, is that is that a more familiar you know energy for you now? A more familiar just you know like overall environment for you now to uh, to like be in these giant fields and you know and understand that I'm racing against some of the best women in America. Yeah, definitely. Like having past experiences in club and then also these past couple races, it gives me like a reassurance and also it's like not as stressful going into these races. It makes it a lot easier to be able to do this. Awesome. Kai, great job. 18-16 in the debut. I know we're going to be seeing 17 in that left-hand column when you get back there. Great work. Hayden Kroger, fantastic job. Uh, obviously, you uh, and, you know, Hutton and and obviously, you, you know, the, the group uh, that – we have known that there's just so much promise and so much potential, and you know, obviously, you've been uh, you've been asked uh, uh, to be be put in some you know uh, really challenging situations already this season. How much do you feel like uh, you've learned uh, already through September and this first part of October? Um, I I well, I feel like our team has helped me like so much this season. Like, I wouldn't have been able to like do like. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to like race like as well as I have this season because I feel like they've really pushed me a lot um, and I've and it's, like been so much fun like training with them this season. Are, uh, the, the fact that it is a, a team energy, the fact that it's, it's a team goal, you know you're contributing to something you know, so much bigger uh, than just those six letters uh, you know, across the, uh, the front of your kit. Like uh, is that the, the thing that, you know, kind of just you know, inspires you, motivates you, incentivizes you the most is that you know that uh, it's not just about Hayden Coker trying to trying to you know set a PR, but it's trying to contribute to this group being the best version of itself. Yeah, they it's it's like it pushes me so much because like I know that um, I have to do my best so that they can so that our team can do well, and like I'm I just like it just like motivates me a lot. Awesome, great job, Hayden. Sophie Poulet, uh, right back to the 1750s, uh, uh, just, uh, just like you've been do uh, doing it all season. But the reality is you haven't been doing it all season because you've been traveling over the country. And now we can uh, say that it is for God country and Sophie Poulet uh, as, a, as a, a future member of the Yale program. Uh, just uh, 
talk about the patience that's required from you, the patience that's required from this group, right? Because like I said earlier on, everybody wanted to see, you know, this whole group thriving and excelling right away at Woodbridge or thriving and excelling at, you know, in a, in a, you know, national regional type of setting again at Bob Furman. And the reality is that didn't come to fruition for, for different variables. So just how much patience and just trust in the process and trust in these women and trust in Coach Chase has it required from you and the whole group? Yeah, no, I mean, it definitely requires a lot of patience. This being, you know, my senior year, fourth time around, like I've kind of learned you kind of have to roll with the punches. Usually things don't always go as planned. So um, it was definitely great to be able to kind of run like our full varsity seven this race. Obviously, I think we were hoping to do that earlier, but you know, the fact that we were able to do it this meet, I think was something that we were all super excited about. And at the end of the day, it's the meets later in the season that are the focus. So we're just, um, we're grateful for this opportunity and we're just going to continue working hard so hopefully we can have amazing results in six weeks. How therapeutic was it for, for you and the group? Because I asked the Buchanan girls the, the same thing, right? Just to be like, look, we're doing it all the time in training, mm -hmm. but eventually we would like to be able to show it, show it in a race, uh -huh. you know? Because uh, again, you don't have to worry about that group other than a merge on November 30th. Uh, but just to be able to be like, look, this is the J. Sarah we know that we can be. This is the J. Sarah mm -hmm. that we know that we are. So, like, just how good was it for your soul and all these other women's souls? Yeah, of course. Obviously, we work, you know, super hard and practice every day. But to finally kind of, like, lace up those running shoes and get on the line and race, it's, like, it's a great experience just to kind of see all that hard work come together and see us all come and support each other in, in the race. And, yeah. Awesome. Again, uh... Five in the top 40, all seven in the top 60 uh, to be runner-up. Uh, continuing to set the standard as to why they're their best uh, Division Four program in, uh, in history, and they'll have an opportunity uh, to do that once more on November 30th. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, the focus shifts to uh, OC Championships, where they try for a third consecutive title there at Oak Canyon Park in Silverado. Ladies, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.